Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make a delicious beef barbacoa. In case you guys want to know how I make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for this recipe we're going to need 3 pounds of chuck pot roast, 1 pound of beef ribs, 5 Anaheim peppers, 10 chile guajillos, 2 chile pasillas, 3 chile de arbol, 10 roma tomatoes, 2 tomatillos, one white onion, one pound of carrots, baby yellow potatoes, four cups of beef broth, 50% less sodium, salt, black pepper, five garlic cloves, four bay leaves, one inch of cinnamon stick, two beef bouillon, five allspice, eight cloves, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of oregano, a half a teaspoon of thyme, a half a teaspoon of marjoram, a half a teaspoon of coriander, and a half a teaspoon of whole pepper. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. All right guys, so first we're going to start by removing the stem and the seeds from our chili pots. And if you're sensitive to chili, make sure you wear gloves. Right, so after you de your chiles, we're going to place them in a pot and we're going to give them a quick rinse. Okay, so after we rinse our chili pots, we're going to add our half an onion, our two tomatillos, and we're going to cover them with water. So now we're just going to place it on our stove. All right, so we're going to set it at medium high heat and now we're just going to wait for them to come to a boil. Okay, so for our meat, we're going to cut into a one inch cubes. So just cut it like that. And I just use my fingers as a guidance. Two of my fingers, for me, it's one inch. So just like that. We're just going to do it to the whole meat. All right, so once you have your meat, this is what it should look like. Now you can use your choice of meat. For me, this is just my preference. The ribs, I like using them because of the bone. It gives it extra flavor. All right, so as soon as your chilies begin to boil, we're going to turn it off and drain the water. All right, so now we're just going to wait for them to cool down a little bit, so like that we can start making our marinade. Okay, right, so once our chilies have cooled down, we're going to transfer them to a blender. We're going to add our five garlic cloves, our four bay leaves, our cinnamon stick, our two beef bouillon, all of our spices. The solid pepper is going to be to your liking. I'm going to add one tablespoon of salt and one teaspoon of black pepper. And we're going to add two cups of water. And of course, you can use the same water that you boil your chiles in. So now we're just going to blend everything together until we have a smooth sauce. All right, so once we have our sauce, we are ready to marinate our meat. All right, so in a large bowl, I'm going to transfer my meat. And we're going to add our sauce. Now strain your sauce if you need to. So just make sure that your meat is fully coated. Get everything and mix it. Okay, so once our meat is fully coated, we're going to cover it. So cover with foil or plastic wrap, and now we're going to place it in the refrigerator and let it marinate for at least 12 hours. All right guys, so once we're ready to make our barbacoa, we're going to get the meat out of the refrigerator and we're going to let it get into room temperature. While we wait, we can begin to cut our tomatoes, Anaheim peppers, and onion. All right, so for our tomatoes, I'm just going to remove the end, cut them in half, and then cut them into three pieces. So just like that. All right, so for our Anaheim peppers, we're just going to remove the stem, cut them open, 
Just like that. And we're going to remove the seeds. If you want your barbacoa to be spicy, you can leave the seeds. I'm just going to remove them because it's going to be good enough with the chiles that we already have. So now we're just going to cut them into small pieces like that. All right, so for the other half of our onion, we're just going to cut it in half and cut it just like that. All right, so once we have our vegetables all nicely cut, we can prepare a pot that we're going to be cooking our barbacoa in. All right, so using vegetable shortening or lard, we're going to grab a little bit and rub it in the inside of our pot. This is just to prevent our sauce and our meat from sticking. All right, guys, so once we have everything ready, we are ready to begin cooking our delicious barbacoa. <laughs> so I'm going to add my meat into our pot. Make sure you get everything. Okay. All right, so we're going to add our vegetables. And just mix it. And that's fine. And now we're just going to pour our beef broth. And if you don't have beef broth, you can use water. Okay. Make sure everything is coated. So now we're going to cover it and we're going to set it on our stove. Okay, so cover it. And let's start cooking. All right, so we're going to set it on medium-high heat. As soon as it begins to boil, we're going to lower down the heat. All right, guys, so after 15 minutes, your meat should begin to boil. So now we're going to reduce the heat to medium-low setting. And now we're just going to let that cook for about an hour and a half. All right, guys, so after an hour and a half, we're going to start prepping our potatoes and carrots. All right, so I already washed my potatoes. And because I love potatoes, I'm going to use the whole uh, one pound and a half. And I also peeled my carrots. So I'm just going to cut them into small pieces, just like that. All right, so once we have that ready, we're going to transfer it in our pot. And I'm also going to add some green olives. This is optional. To me, I feel like it gives it a really good flavor. So we're going to add it. So this is what it looks like. So our meat is almost done. So we're going to pour, well, I'm going to add my green olives. And I drained some of the juice, but I'm going to keep a little bit. Okay. okay, we're going to add our carrots and potatoes. Okay, so mix it. And at this point, you want to check your salt and see if it needs any. So I'm going to check it. I'm just going to add a little bit. Okay. So we're going to close it and let that cook for another 30 minutes or until our potatoes and carrots are fully cooked. All right, guys, so after an hour, we're gonna check our potatoes and our carrots. But this time, everything should be fully cooked. So potatoes are super soft and so are the carrots. And of course, the meat should be super tender by this time. Look at that. Awesome. So now we are ready to enjoy our delicious barbacoa. All right, guys, so once we are ready to serve, this is what it looks like. Uh, let me tell you that it smells delicious. And I'm just serving it with some rice, some puerco beans, and cold salad. And you can serve it with tortillas or with chips. I am so ready to enjoy. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. And let me tell you guys that this plate reminds me so much of the quinceañeras from back in the day. This was like your party plate. I am so ready to enjoy. <laughs> and look at this, the meat, super tender, so flavorful. Try to grab a little bit of everything. delicious 
This is seriously so delicious, you guys. It's full of flavor, and of course, you know, if you want to use your crock pot, you can most definitely use it. Um, it's not spicy. It's just perfect. It's delicious. Hope you guys give it a try. And, you know, it's, don't think just because it has a lot of spices, you know, it's, it's a complicated plate. It's not. It's super easy, and I'm pretty sure you guys have more of the spices already in your cabinet. You guys, if you do use the olives, make sure that you use the ones with no pit. This is the first time I tried this brand, and it has the pit. And the other ones, the ones that come in a can, they were so delicious. Like all the, the flavors, all of the flavors from the chile were absorbed into the olive. It was just delicious. This one's, I don't know, like they just taste like olives. Like I said, my first time buying them. So just make sure that you keep an eye out for that. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I make a delicious beef barbacoa. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh no, no. Eres perfecta mujer. De la cabeza a los pies, tú pasas de mi nivel, tú tienes el piquete De la forma que tú besas, mami, más simétrica que un origami De la forma que tú besas, mami, más simétrica que un origami Eres